here's a little sample of how you can teach tallying the time. I have here a little uh, paper clock. I just plastified it with plastic and I used one of these here. A little piece of foam. You can use paper or cardboard, anything that's nice and fun to feel and to touch and sturdy. And we used our little blocks to begin with. First we learned we learned about the minutes. So we learned that the top is always zero. You start from the top. Then because we're doing skip counting by fives, it was easy for him. So we counted by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, fifty. So we did that as many times, sorry, fifty-five, sixty and start back to zero. So we did as many times as we needed to learn and then that way they also rather than seeing the number there which makes it a little bit confusing for them we learn by fives. We talk about you have 60 minutes in an hour rather than counting by ones we're gonna help we're gonna count by fives again the reason for skip counting. So that's how we started with just learning the minutes. Then learning the hours, here's our clock. We used our blocks again, 5, 10, 15, counting by fives. Then we used more blocks. This is the little shorthand, which is going to tell us the hours. So then, as you can see, we put new little blocks, but these are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and you go by building your clock. So rather than just seeing a big circle with numbers, you actually learn what each number is. They get to see it and visualize it. So that's very important for them to understand. Telling the time concept. And then you go by your minutes again, counting by fives, and your hours. Each one is another hour and it adds and it makes a nice little scent pattern. Anyway, this is a little idea of how you can teach telling the time for your little one to help them visualize it.